Hey guys, Ray here with uh, Get Clean and Clicks. I'm glad to be here for another year of the Maid Summit. Um, I think this is a great thing for the industry. I really do. A lot of value being dropped. Um, I'm only given 20 minutes, so I'm not going to really um, go into a lot of uh, sub detail. We got to get right to this. So this is our website, Get Clean and Clicks. Um, I have put together this, what we're covering here, and a lot more. Um, if you want to download that, just come to this form on our homepage, which is your uh, free business marketing checklist and download it. Uh, this will have what we covered and then a lot more. So it is a lot of information, but you know what? Um, take it, download it, pull pieces out and just start doing a little bit at a time. Um, if you're working with a marketing company already and you're just curious, you know, use it to double check them. If you're not working with a marketing company and you're looking for one, we'd be glad to help you out. Um, you know, more than anything, uh, I really just want you guys to get value from this. That's why the only reason why I do any of this. Um, <clears throat> all right. So we're going to talk about two things. So one is converting customers. It's probably the single most important part of your business is, is how do I get leads? And I see a lot of businesses and I see, I see professional web companies that charge people 10 grand for a website and miss this. Now, um, we market solely for cleaning businesses. This, this really works in any service-based business um, because you guys both have the same two kind of customers. And I'm going to get into that in a minute here. Uh, this was a client of ours. Uh, we've been working with him for three and a half years. He ranks number one for all his terms. And he has a beautiful high converting site. Um, you know, over the last four years that we've been doing this, uh, the one thing that we found out and a lot of people are missing is the dual call to action. You have two kind of customers. You have the customer that wants to call and talk to somebody right now. And you have the other one that doesn't care, just wants to get pricing and go through the sales process. <clears throat> um, I typically only see people focusing on one of these really. Like the primary call to action is get a quote and the phone number is off in the corner somewhere. Well, that phone number is just as important as the get a quote. And putting them close together and giving the consumer an option to do whichever one they like will increase your conversion rate. This site converts at about 20%. I have some converting as high as 25%. Um, it, that also has to do with a lot of brand recognition. They've been around for a long time. They're known in in, uh, in their area. But also, um, we have clients that are new. And the new clients still convert 5 to 10%. Like, that's not bad. That, that's a good number. 5 to 10% conversion rate on your website is good. And that's simple. simply just by adding a dual call to action like this. Get your quote. So <clears throat> here it could go from a lead form to book online, or it could just go to a lead form and you follow up with them depending on how your process is. Um, this could just say book online and go right to your online booking form. But you have that consumer that doesn't want to book online or doesn't want to just get a quote. They want to call somebody. So make sure you add the phone number and give them another option. So this dual call to action, that's key to success here. And it needs to be above the fold and it needs to be laid out nicely where people can easily see it. So, you know, there's not, we, we basically stripped out the menu here. This is a modern design because we don't want consumers going through all that other stuff. We, and, and they don't really need to, you know, we're, we're part of an ADHD nation where people get on a site and they start just clicking around because there's stuff to click to. And what you find is when you reduce that stuff that they click to, it hyper focuses their thoughts and they go to where you want them to go, which is either to get a quote or give us a call. You may have the consumer that wants to look throughout the site and they're going to come through here and they're going to kind of briefly read it, maybe look at the design a little bit. And then, um, Oh, okay. This is interesting. Maybe read through this. And then, Hopefully, we've done enough to sell them and they're ready to do one of these two things. If not, they can scroll. Okay, they offer this, they offer that, uh, move in, move out, cleaning. Oh, they even offer carpet cleaning. Great. Now I'm ready to make that decision. If not, 
let them scroll. Okay, they have a good system for cleaning that shows they're professional. Okay, now I'm ready. So you see these call to actions were based almost in every section because when the consumer reads it, they may be finally ready to make that next decision on following through with the process, whether that's a phone call or, or a uh, form fill or book online, whatever, whatever your options are. But you'll see we have, you know, six or seven different sections that all have call to actions, the dual call to actions. And that's why this site converts so well. Um, a lot of times I see just the phone number off in the corner and just the quote button and, and you're missing the opportunity. The, the other aspect of this is more users are mobile now. So we're looking at the desktop, but if you go to the mobile, you're going to see how simple is that? You know, imagine being on your iPhone and you're coming to this. How easy is that for them to get a hold of you? Like super easy. These buttons stand out, they pop. They give you your option. Do you want to get a quote? Do you want to give them a call? What do you want to do? And it's the same way throughout the site on mobile. So make sure you add those dual call to actions throughout your site everywhere. And that will increase your conversion rate. If you have one call to action right now, I guarantee you by adding a second, it's going to increase your conversion rate, especially if you don't have the phone number blasted throughout the site probably the single most important one. I know often we get preached to about online booking and online booking. That's great, but it's, it's a small percentage that actually does that. You know, that's a much higher percentage that makes phone calls. Our clients that are doing a million dollars um, or better a year, they get two, 300 phone calls a month. These are phone calls, not online bookings. They get two to 300 phone calls a month. I mean, uh, I think that tells you, obviously, in this industry, people still love to call and they, and they will forever. Uh, I, don't, I don't ever see that changing um, in the near future anyways. Um, but again, there are the others that don't, don't want to talk to somebody and just kind of want to go through the process and get pricing or get a quote or whatever it is. So uh, you really need to fill both those voids when it comes to your website. All right. So that's conversion rate optimization. Um, it's overhyped. Add two buttons, put some content in between. You're good to go. Uh, you know, backed with a good design, it converts even more. Obviously, the design has something to play in it. But if you just make it look clean and very easily accessible for them, you're fine. That way, if you're paying somebody to do SEO or send traffic to your website via Facebook or Google Ads, uh, you know you're getting the most out of it, right? So why why pay somebody for SEO if you're not even getting this right? You're missing out on, you know, 5%, 10% of your customers. So just by doing this could actually pay for your SEO services over the remaining of the year. So, so get this right, guys. Do it. Uh, another thing that I find highly important is to set up conversion tracking in your Google Analytics. And I know I probably sound like I'm talking in French when I say this to a lot of you guys. Um, go on Fiverr, go on Upwork, find somebody who does Google Analytics and have them set up conversion tracking. So you know how many people are calling and you know how many people are clicking to get a quote. You don't need to have Hotjar or any of those recording services out there because the, the industry average conversion rate is about 4%. All right. And I'm telling you, every single site that we have converts between 5% to 25%. So we've learned this already. I already know this. We don't have to test what's on your website. Uh, make those buttons clear. Set up conversion tracking. Uh, get that person to teach you Google Analytics so you understand the traffic that's coming through and the numbers that you see. And it's really easy. You know, it, it, I know a lot of it's unknown, so you're kind of scared of it. But I, I promise you, if you take the time to do this due diligence in your business, it will pay off. Um, now that your website's optimized, now let's get you ranked on Google, right? So now you need to get traffic. Now people uh, searching for cleaning service in your city, you want them to find your site. How do you do that? 
So there, there are two aspects to that. There is on-page SEO and off-page SEO. I can literally spend two weeks training you on all the stuff that has to be done. But what I'm going to do is give you pretty much the, the most important things that you can do yourself in your website. Assuming that your website is um, accessible by you and you can have some basic navigation within it. <clears throat> so here, um, I'm typing in house cleaning Hoboken, New Jersey. And here they are, number one in maps, number one in organic. Um, but you see this word here, made in Hoboken, cleaning service in Hoboken, New Jersey with the zip code. That was purposely put there by us, optimized based on the keywords. Now, Made in Hoboken has a lot of brand recognition, so it's okay, and they're ranking already, so it's okay to put their name in front. But if you guys don't have that brand recognition, or if you're not ranking, I don't even care if your name's in the title tag. We need the keywords in there. And you'll see that when you come down here. So, uh, Super Maids, Hoboken Cleaning Service, House Cleaning and Maid Service. You don't even see their name in the URL. And that's because they're not number one yet. So they have to um, do more on-page optimization because they're trying to get to number one. Um, looks like Maid Sailors, number one Hoboken Maid Service, House Cleaning in Hoboken. Uh, this is actually more of what I would suggest to do. Do you see how they have the city and the keyword in it? So Hoboken Maid Service, House Cleaning Hoboken. They've got it in there twice, two different keywords. Uh, you don't even see their name in it. And that's okay um, because they're not number one. So they need, they need to over-optimize to make up for it. Uh, once you have that authority and you're stuck in number one and Google sees that you're getting traffic and you're a real business, it's hard to lose that spot. And these guys are just battling for that spot. These are the competitors that we're trying to keep them at bay by doing, uh, you know, more advanced SEO stuff. But, um, this is the number one factor that Google looks at to rank a site. You could not have a title tag or your title tag could have home it could just say home and a lot of web developers, when they develop a site, they don't optimize your title tags. They publish a site and it's out there and you see it ranking. Home isn't going to help you land cleaning clients. So you have to go into the back end of the site and update your title tags. There's this little tool called SEO Minion. So SEO Minion for you guys can be your best friend. And what I challenge you to do, um, if you're truly wanting to rank on the first page, I want you to go through your top two cities and I want you to search house cleaning, maid service and cleaning service in city. So we'll do house cleaning Tampa, Florida. I think I did this last year for the same example. I don't remember who was there then, but uh, you'll see. So here's two maids in a mop Tampa. We compete against them in a lot of different areas. Um, they have yet to beat us, thankfully. Um, but whoever whoever's not doing SEO in Tampa, um, they're they're the ones that are the top dogs. You know, they're they're here in the map packs, even though they're number three. That's still not that's still good, right? That you're even shown here. They have four hundred and fifty one reviews, and then here's their website showing up organically but look at their title tag tampa cleaning service and then they have their brand name two maids tampa that's relevant because two maids tampa has the word tampa in it and when you're searching house cleaning tampa you want that to show google is also smart enough to know that cleaning service maid service and house cleaning are the same even though there's some off page and on page factors that determine if you rank for all those terms, they do know they are the same service. So even though I typed in house cleaning and it says Tampa cleaning service, um, they know that that's house, house cleaning. It's one and the same. So the highest 
search terms in the cleaning industry, and this is this goes for probably 90% of the U.S. market, cleaning service is the number one search term. So cleaning service near me, cleaning service in city, best cleaning service, top cleaning service, just type in cleaning service. That's the number one. Then number two is house cleaning. And then number three search, and as far as volume goes, how many people are searching is maid service. So that's the order of importance that you should have on your site as well. And you'll see they actually did a really good job on this. Um, when we look at the title tag, I'm going to take a page and this will show us everything. So their title, which shows up in Google, I showed you guys already, Tampa Cleaning Service, Two Maids Tampa. So they have cleaning service covered. It's the most important thing. That's why they have it in the most important spot, which is your title. Then you have your header tags here. Your header tags are the second most important content that they put on your site. Now, uh, don't get confused by the H1, H2s. The software that you use to optimize your website, if it's WordPress, um, it applies these tags automatically. And what those headers are, H1 through H8, um, show what is the most important content. The most important content is show above the fold and is called an H1 tag. And the H1 tag is the size of the content. It just tells Google that this content is the biggest to put on the screen. That's what you're seeing. Now you see they kind of have the hierarchy in order. So H1 is first, H2 is second. That's on purpose. Um, so their first, their first keyword, cleaning service. Their second one is house cleaning. So come home to a clean house. Great job. Perfect. They got it keyword stuffed. It doesn't sound too spammy. It doesn't look too spammy. Makes sense. And then if you come down here, their H2 right here is a maid service worth talking about. So they just covered all those top three keywords on their homepage of their website. They got it. Makes sense. Everything else below that is still important because Google still reads it. Um, but that comes... Third, so first is your title tag. Second is your header tags. And then third is the rest of the content that's on your site. And that's what they read to say, what is this, what is this website about? We know they're trying to say that they're a cleaning service, but are they experts in the industry? How much content do they have? Are they putting out blogs regularly? You will find when you analyze the top 10 pages, which we'll go back. Uh, so made pro, uh, extreme maids. Let's take a look at them. Now well, there isn't a lot of content. I'm kind of surprised, but the average <clears throat> is about a thousand words on your homepage. <clears throat> now think about this. If, if you're trying to get to the homepage, and somebody is already there and they have a thousand words, then you're going to need 1500. You're going to need 2000 words. You have to do more than them to get there, to beat them. Um, I know we're running just a little bit over 20 minutes. Um, this is a very high level overview. I hope you guys grab some value from that. And remember, if you go to our website, get cleaning clicks, Scroll down, get your free marketing checklist here. This will contain what I covered there and a lot more. Um, it is overwhelming because it's a lot of information. Take pieces of it and just do little pieces at a time if that's all you're working on. Um, you'll find me on Facebook. Send me a friend request. I love all you guys. I want you all to be my friends. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a PM and I'll do my best to get back with you. And, uh, you know, I, more than anything, I just want you guys to be successful. And I hope that these tips that I gave here um, will help you go down that path. You know, whether you're using a marketing company now 
and you just need to check to see what they're doing. If what they're doing is good, use it for that. Audit your own website yourself based on the information. Replay this over and over again. Pause it. Make notes. Whatever whatever you need to do. You know, um, your business is important. And if, if if it's not flourishing, if you're not getting 300 calls a month, make sure you're on the right path to at least get there. You know, it's not an easy road. It's a long road, but you will get there. So I wish you guys uh, all the success. And, you know, again, I, I hope we added a lot of value for you. So if you have any questions, uh, reach out to me via Facebook. Thank you.